Hello and welcome. You're watching Breakfast News on Raj Sabha TV. I'm Rajat Kane. Let's have a look at the top headlines. Discussion on GST related bills in Lok Sabha. Eight hours allocated. Centre says it wants consensus. Congress says bill in present form not acceptable. Prime Minister to host dinner for NDA MPs, a move aimed at seeking support for the NDA's presidential candidate. Shiv Sena plays tough to get. Over 60 security personnel injured in stone pelting during encounter in Badgam. Three civilians killed and 18 others injured. Militant also eliminated. Trump administration goes back skew of Obama era regulations on climate change, signs executive order to revive coal industry. A Scotland votes to seek new referendum on independence as British Prime Minister Theresa May signs letter that will formally launch UK's two-year Brexit process. The Lok Sabha will take up the Goods and Service Tax Bill for discussion and passage today. Eight hours have been allocated by the Speaker for the discussion on the bill. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley had tabled the four GST-related bills, CGST, IGST, UTGST and the GST compensation bills in Lok Sabha on Monday. On Tuesday, he briefed party MPs about the bills at the PJP's parliamentary meet. He also said the government wants to pass these landmark tax reforms through consensus. The government has set target of 1st of July for the rollout of the GST, which will subsume excise tax, service tax, VAT and other local levies. Once these bills are cleared by the parliament, the states will then take up the state GST bills in their respective assemblies. SGST bill has been prepared as a model of the central GST, with each state incorporating state-specific exemptions. <laughs> जो चार बिल्स सेंट्रल जीएसटी स्टेट जीएसटी यूटी जीएसटी और कॉम्पेंसेशन बिल जो मूव हुआ है उसके बारे में विस्तार से सभी सांसदों को अवगत कराए जैसे जीएसटी के कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट बिल आम सहमति से हमने पारित करवाया ऐसे ये चारों बिलों को भी दोनों सदन आम सहमति से पारित करवाए ऐसे उम्मीद किया मीनवाल द कांग्रेस पार्टी हैज सेड द जीएसटी बिल्स इन इट्स प्रेजेंट फॉर्म आर अनएक्सेप्टेबल द पार्टी डस आल्सो डजंट वांट टू बी सीन एज अगेंस्ट द टैक्स रिफॉर्म एट अ मीटिंग ऑफ द कांग्रेस एमपीज शेयर्ड बाय पार्टी वाइस प्रेसिडेंट राहुल गांधी इट वाज डिसाइडेड टू रेज द कंसर्न्स ऑफ द पब्लिक ऑन द जीएसटी बिल्स एंड सीक नेसेसरी अमेंडमेंट्स The opposition parties joined ranks to corner government in Raj Sabha on Tuesday over the delay in filling up of vacancies in the statutory commissions. The opposition also accused the government of deliberately weakening the institutions. The government, however, asserted that all commissions were functioning and the process of filling up vacancies was underway. The steel may led to several adjournments in the House. The opposition protest over vacancies in statutory commissions for minorities, SCs, STs and OBCs continued in the upper house on the second consecutive day. The opposition leaders tendered notices under Rule 267 seeking setting aside of business of the day to take up a discussion on the issue. Raising the issue, Ram Gopal Yadav of the Samajwadi Party alleged that the Commission for Backward Classes was being renamed for inclusion and exclusion of certain castes under the OBC list. The Mandal Commission has surveyed that these are the उनको बिल्कुल नलीफाई कर दिया जाएगा नए सिरे से तय होगा कि कौन जातियां बैकवर्ड हैं कौन नहीं और संसद उनको तय करेगी कि किसको इसमें से निकालना है किसको रखना है और यही स्थिति पैदा कर देंगे ये शेड्यूल कास्ट जो अनुसूचित जाति आयोग है उसमें अनुसूचित जनजाति आयोग है उसमें और हम सब लोग जानते हैं कि किन किन जातियों को टारगेट करके उनमें से निकालने की साजिश इस गवर्नमेंट की है 
BSP leader Mayawati also slammed the government for the delay and demanded reconstitution of statutory commissions. In Padoko, kya aisa karan hai ki lambe arse se in padon ko khali rakha wa sarkar se hum ye jawab janna chahte hain. Okay. Pehla ek minute. Pehla hamara ye sawal hai kendra ki sarkar se. To aur dusra sawal ye hai ki inhone kya karan hai ki inko lambe arse se in padon ko khali rakha dusra. इन पदों को ये कब तक भरने वाले ये बताए सरकार okay. इन पदों को कब तक और इसकी समय सीमा yeah. निर्धारित okay, करें कि हम इतने समय में भरने okay. वाले हैं और तीसरा हमारा सवाल ये है कि यदि केंद्र की सरकार इन पदों को भरने वाली नहीं है आयोग को खत्म करने वाली है तो सरकार स्थिति स्पष्ट करे रिफ्यूटिंग ऑल चार्जेस Union Minister Venkaiah Naidu clarified that vacancies will be filled up soon. He also accused the opposition of misleading the country. These people want to mislead the country. What is it they have done during the regime? We are ready to face all the fights before the people, and these people want to make a political issue. They have not understood. I have to go by procedure. The mandate of the people. The mandate of the people is very clear. I have to go by procedure. The mandate of the people is very clear, sir. I have with me the statement made by the backward class commission chairman. Justice Sri Swaraya, no. Chairman of the Backward Class Commission. The entire country is welcoming wholeheartedly the Prime Minister's decision of having constitutional status for the mandal, for the Backward Class Commission. Naidu's assurance failed to dispel the apprehensions of the opposition parties. The Congress, SP, BSP members marched into the well of the House, raising the pitch against the government. The BJP members also moved to the aisles and slammed the opposition for disrupting proceedings. Adjourn for 10 minutes. Adjourn for 10 minutes. After zero hour, question hour also became a casualty of the disruptions. Repeated pleas by the chair to allow question hour to proceed went unheeded. आप को जो कुछ कहना है आप जब डिबेट होगा आप कहिएगा. Please. नहीं नहीं शरद जी please. देखिए I plead with you. Please allow the question hour to run. Question 271. As chances of reconciliation looked bleak, the chair adjourned the house till 2 p.m. House is adjourned till 2 p.m. Priti Mishra's report for Rajya Sabha TV. The opposition's tirade against the government continued even in the post-lunch session. Government's assurance fall failed to cut ice with the opposition, leading to adjournment of the House till Wednesday. As the House reassembled at 2 p.m., the opposition members upped the ante against the government for allegedly weakening the statutory commissions. Leading the charge, leader of opposition, Ghulam Nabi Azad, claimed that the vacancies have left people who seek relief for their difficulties from these commissions high and dry. Sir, three important commission, BC commission, backward classes, ka, SCST ka or minorities commission. Sir, today, there has never been such a thing कि तीनों कमीशन हेडलेस हों और मेंबर्स नहीं हों और कोई काम नहीं चला तो अगर 80 प्रतिशत और 85 प्रतिशत आबादी का ये जो कमीशन हैं उनके उत्थान के लिए बनी है अगर वो बनी नहीं है गठित नहीं की गई है तो ये सरकार हुकूमत किस पर कर रही JDU leader Sharad Yadav also cornered the government for under-representation of backward castes and tribals in various educational institutions. In the country, there are 70 years old. This commission is also made, this is all made, but how many backlogs are there? I want to give you one or two or two or two or two or two. After that, the government will give you the answer. After that, when I want to give you the answer, I want to give you the answer. This is the right to give you the right to 80% ये हक जो है वो पूरा नहीं है इस पर भी सरकार बताने का काम okay. करे इतने बड़ा बैकला क्यों है no, इतनी ज्यादा बैकला क्यों है ओके शेड्यूल कास्ट से लेकर से लेकर वो ठीक है और माइनॉरिटीज का आ, अभी आप बैठी है इसलिए अभी आप बैठी है कि बैकला पर भी वो कहने का अभी आप बैठी है बैठी है Samajwadi Party leader Ram Gopal Yadav insisted on immediate discussion on the issue. The chair, however, cited rules of admissibility. 
मैं ये जानना चाहता हूं आपके माध्यम से सरकार से कि इतने महत्वपूर्ण मुद्दे पर चर्चा कराने में दिक्कत क्या है वट इज द प्रॉब्लम द टू सिक्स सेवन नोटिस विच वॉज गिवन बाई नॉट ओनली बाई राम गोपाल जी अदर मेंबर्स ऑल्सो गिव फोर नोटिस वेर देयर See, those notices have not been accepted. See, and uh, I have already announced in the mo in the house that they are not been accepted. Member may, with the consent of the chairman, move. So, if the chairman has not given consent, you cannot move. I have not given consent, so that is over. Morning. So, if no, 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 that is of the house. Rebutting all charges, the government clarified that due to elections in five states and operation of the model code of conduct, the appointments could not have been made. Mahapati Mohra, I have told you that today I want to tell you that the people who are in the house, SC, SC, OBC, Sabai Karmakari, they will remain. This is where the people who are in the house are going to be elected. राज्यों में चुनाव होने के कारण आचार संहिता के कारण रुकी थी और एस आयोग का गठन हो चुका है इसी कमीशन के सदस्यों के चयन की प्रक्रिया जारी है और मैं माननीय एल साहब ने जो कहा था कि ऐसा विलंब इसके पहले कभी नहीं हुआ However, the government's assertion failed to quell opposition protests. The Congress, Samajwadi Party, and BSP members again trooped into the well of the house. As the impasse persisted, the proceedings for the day were washed out. With little signs of a truce, the chair adjourned the house till Wednesday. With inputs from Vishal Daya, Kriti Mishra's report for Rajya Sabha TV. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will host a dinner for all NDA MPs today. The meet is aimed at seeking their support for the NDA presidential candidate. Incumbent President Pranam Mukherjee is due to retire on July 24th. NDA allyship Sena is expected to play tough despite BJP's big win in UP. It's still short of reaching a halfway mark in the presidential electoral college. The Shiv Sena with, with, with its 18 Lok Sabha MPs and 63 MLAs has 25,893 votes in its kitty for the elections. The Electoral College for the presidential election includes 708 points for every MPs and 175 points for every MLAs from Maharashtra. The SEDA's votes are crucial for the BJP to get its candidate elected as president. The NDA is short of reaching the halfway mark by around 24,522 votes. Also in the recent past, Shiv Sena has twice voted in the favor of Congress presidential candidate. Time for a very short break. More news on the other side. Goa and Manipur looked like a stolen kingdom as what the Congress says. Opportunity was everybody with, with the Congress party and with the BJP. We take the advantage of the opportunity. There was some kind of pressure on BJP to declare Yogi Adityanath as the CM. BJP is a political party. We have to calculate the political equations. There could be a front staging of uh, issues like cow protection, love jihad, forced religious conversion. Let us wait and watch. Why are you blaming? It is the story of image versus reality. Watch to the point with Union Minister Nitin Gadkari only on Raja Sabha television. The sacred relics of Buddha were unearthed in Piprava in Uttar Pradesh. Buddha. Buddhist monks from all over the world visit the National Museum to pay their respects. These charred bone fragments of Buddha are housed in the gold canopy gifted by the royal family of Thailand. Welcome back. Three civilians and a militant have been killed and, eight, and 18 others injured in clashes between the security forces and stone-pelting protesters in Kashmir's Badgam district. A search operation was launched by the security forces early morning on Tuesday in Durbag area of Chadura following information about the presence of militants there. 
However, the search operation turned into a gun battle after militants opened fire on security forces and a large number of protesters starting pelting stones at the security personnel. Officials said the civilians who were killed suffered firearm injuries. Separatists in Kashmir have called for a general strike today against the killing of three civilians and sought an impartial inquiry into the incident. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Mehbooba Mufti has termed the killing as highly painful and unfortunate and said the people in Kashmir continue to suffer massive collateral damage due to violence of past three decades or so. Opposition National, Opposition National Conference leader Farooq Abdullah, however, said the incident reflects alarming situation in the valley. मिलिटेंसी यहाँ कई सालों से चल रहे हैं हजारों की तादाद में लोग मारे गए हैं चाहे वो मिलिटेंट हो चाहे सिविलियन हो चाहे सिक्योरिटी फोर्स हो चाहे पुलिस पर उससे कुछ हासिल होने वाला नहीं है तशद से कुछ हासिल होने वाला नहीं है जो भी कुछ हासिल होगा वो बातचीत से एफआम और तफीम से होगा और अमन से हासिल होगा इट्स नॉट गुड नाइ गुड फॉर दी एनफोर्समेंट ऑफ लॉ एंड ऑर्डर नॉट फॉर द सोसाइटी आई बिलीव दैट दीपल दिटीजन ऑफ Kashmir should let the law take its own course and uh, they should not obstruct our operations because our operations are against the people who took to violence, who are uh, militant against uh, the state. Gawadi, who is their agent, who is operating in Kashmir, has changed their tactics. The last year, which happened, was a general in South Kashmir. This time, the target is targeted. जहां जहां इनकाउंटर हो रहे हैं वहीं पे पथराव होता है और अब आप देखिए कि क्या किया जा रहा है कि पथराव का इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं ये लोग कि आतंकवाद जहां पे है और आतंकवादी जहां इनकाउंटर में गिर गया है उसे ये कवर दे रहे हैं पथराव से सस्पेक्टेड मिलिटेंट ट्यूजडे ओपन फायर टारगेटिंग रेजिडेंस ऑफ सीनियर पुलिस ऑफिसर इन कश्मीर Pulgam district in third such incident in the past days. No one was reportedly injured in the attack. Police officials said the ultras fired on the residence of the additional superintendent of police, Bandipura Daud Ayub at Khudwani in Kulgam. They said there was no damage during the firing incident and militants escaped from the site. Earlier on Sunday, suspected militants attacked the ancestral residence of State Minister Farooq Ab Drabi in South Kashmir's Anantnag district, injuring one policeman. The day after the Alphas opened fire at the house of ASI Dilbar Ahmed and Constable Riaz Ahmed at Kigam in Shopia, but no one was injured. The Indian Navy's iconic Tupolev 142 M anti-submarine warfare aircraft will be decommissioned today after serving as mainstay in guarding the Indian Ocean region for almost three decades. The aircraft would be decommissioned by Chief of Naval Staff Admiral Sunil Lamba at ceremony at INS Rajaji, Rajajali in Tamil Nadu's Arakkudam. The Soviet era aircraft, known as one of the most formidable airborne reconnaissance platform around the world, were part of all major naval exercises and operations of Indian Navy since its induction in 1988. Tupolev 142M fleet is replaced by 12P-8I maritime surveillance aircraft of Boeing, which were equipped with Harpoon anti-ship missiles. Like with torpedoes, rocket, and new generation sensors and radars. A total of eight Tupolev 142Ms were inducted in the Navy, and currently only three of them are in operation at present. With its four powerful engines, slender fuselage, and swept wings, Tupolev is the fastest turboprop aircraft in the world and reportedly is difficult to intercept by the fighters. The Trump administration has rolled back a slew of Obama era regulations on climate change. On Tuesday, President Donald Trump signed an executive order to nullify his predecessors, Barack Obama's climate change efforts and revive the coal industry. The three decades' main target is Obama's clean power plan that re required states to slash carbon emissions from power plants. The president said this would put an end to the war on coal and job killing regulations. However, it was Obama's clean power plan. plan that had been a critical element in helping the U.S. meet its commitment to a global climate change accord reached by nearly 200 countries in Paris in 2015. Environmental groups have condemned Trump's order, saying it was dangerous and was against a broader global trend towards cleaner energy technologies. After the White House protest, uh, protesters gathered to vent their displeasure. 
my administration is putting an end to the war on coal. Going to have clean coal, really clean coal. With today's executive action, I am taking historic steps to lift the restrictions on American energy, to reverse government intrusion, and to cancel job-killing regulations. It's a grab bag of terrible ideas by the fossil fuel industry, top to bottom, designed to take us backward on progress on climate, not forward, at the very time when we need and the, we and the world need to be moving forward. The UK Prime Minister Theresa May has signed a letter that will formally begin the UK's departure from European Union. This will trigger the process of Britain's withdrawal from the European Union, launching the two years' exit negotiations. Giving officials notice under Article 50 of the Lisbon Treaty, it will be delivered to the European Council President Donald Tusk on Wednesday. It follows June's referendum, which resulted in a vote to leave the European Union. The Prime Minister, who will chair the Cabinet meeting today, will then make a statement to the MPs confirming the countdown to the UK's departure from the European Union is underway. Formal notification will start the clock ticking on two years of talks between the UK and European Union to conclude the terms of Britain's exit and establish future relations between the two parties. If no deal is reached, the UK will effectively fall out of the Union on March 29, 2019, two years to the day after Article 50 was triggered. Tomorrow, we begin the negotiations to secure a new, deep and special partnership with the European Union. As we do so, I am determined that we should also seize this historic opportunity to get out into the world and to shape an even bigger role for a global Britain. This means not just building new alliances, but going even further in working with old friends who have stood alongside us for centuries. However, just hours before Britain embarking on its momentous journey out of European Union, Scotland's Parliament in Edinburgh voted to demand a new referendum on Scottish independence. MSPs voted by 69 to 59 in favour of seeking permission for a referendum before the United Kingdom leaves the European Union. But the timing has already been rejected by May. UK government saying it will block a referendum until after the Brexit process has been completed. Nevertheless, Scottish Parliament's vote sets a stage for a con constitutional tussle between London and Edinburgh. The Scottish Government now has a mandate from Parliament to seek discussion with the UK Government. Uh, we will now seek sensible and constructive discussion. Uh, we will do that after the triggering of Article 50. I recognise that tomorrow is a big and important day for the Prime Minister. I hope the United Kingdom Government will respect the view of Parliament. This is simply about giving people in Scotland a choice. We agree that now is not the right time for that choice, but that choice should be available to people in Scotland uh, when the terms of Brexit are clear. Now, after a powerful cyclone, Debbie made a landfall in Australia. A 1,300 kilometre stretch of its northeast coast has come to a dangerous risk of flooding. The cyclone has caused major damage, torrential rain and power cuts to tens of thousands of homes. Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull has activated the disaster response plan. With up to 250 mm of rain forecast on Wednesday, authorities have asked people to stay off roads to avoid being stranded in flood waters. According to authorities, three people have been confirmed injured, but the number could also rise. More than 25,000 people were urged to evacuate their homes ahead of predictions. The cyclone would be Queensland's most damaging since 2011. We are going to see the impact of Cyclone Debbie for the next three to five days as it travels down the coast and these winds can even end up uh, as a low pressure system uh, right along uh, the coast of uh, the southeast corner here. This is a very destructive storm and, and storm system and I think the public and the community of Queensland need to understand that we are going to get lots of reports of damage uh, and sadly uh, I think that we will uh, also receive more reports of injuries if not death and we need to be prepared for that. India's upcoming shuttlers Aditya Joshi and Patil Joshi crashed out of the qualifying round of the Indian Open World Super Series. Former junior num world number one, Aditya was expected to enter main round, but he failed to overcome Japanese Nishimoto Kenta, losing 21-14, 21-11.
Total also lost in straight sets to Kazimasa Sakai of Japan. However, in women's qualifying round, four Indian shuttlers, Anura Prabhudesai, Rasika Rajay, Sai Uttijitha Rao, Lalita Dhaya entered the main draw with the victories in the qualifying round. That's why now keep watching Raj Sabha TV for more.